Hello guys, it's me, Ella Tattel here, and I'm going to do a few special today. This is a little thing I want to call what I like and don't like. This is why I take a show and list the things I don't like. And this is why I take a show and list the things I like and don't like. So on that said, let's talk about Total Drama All-Stars. Sure, you may think that this is the worst season, but I don't, I don't, I don't think it's weird that we have a title. I mean, who cares what people say? It's just a season, nothing else. So anyway, I'm gonna there's there's five things that I liked about that, like about the season and what I don't like. Let's start from the five reasons that I don't like the season. First up is the elimination process. I mean, sure, it's really, really early on, but I don't think it has to go with the have the first episode being elimination process. Maybe, maybe the first episode would be a non-elimination episode, and then Lindsay would be brought up in the fifth episode. That makes logical sense. That, that's because I really do like Lindsay. She really is a great drama drama character. And if she's lasted on episode five, that'll be a lot more great. And a lot more great season. Now, the four, now on the four, I, I don't like the merge. I mean, it's weird too. But second, when I for three merges, she should not be in the fourth one. I mean, maybe it should be, maybe the most would be seven people. That would be much more fellow, more fun of all, like in Total Drama Action, because back in Total Drama Action, there was a lion, there was a, there was a most of seven people. And that makes more sense than that. So as you can see, it's way hard to go by that. Now, the, now number three is fixing the teams up. Sure, the teams are really great, you know. You know. However, I still don't get why Gwen has to be a villain, because she was a huge hero, and she was awesome. Man. Now, there are some problems I don't like. First, Cody and Duncan switching teams. I mean, Duncan's already a bad guy. So is Cody. I mean, they're both must be on the villain team. Would it be more serious if Gwen was on the hero's team and Cody was on the villain's team? That would be much more identifiable. And on top of that, making Kelman the villain? That doesn't even make any sense, so I don't get it. Now, at number two, it's ep uh, there's an episode I don't like, and that is episode 11. That's why it's on the number two spot. It's really selfish and diabolical and cruel of what Chris has to put his interns through. And a sad elimination for Kobe. I'm going to say that. And the number one thing I don't like is Chris McClain. I really just don't like him. He's just an asshole. A total big asshole. I mean, I mean, seriously, he was in jail. I mean, seriously, he was in jail. But he should not be in jail. He should be alone in a insane asylum because he is really freaking insane. That's all I gotta say. And now, here's the double, here's the top five picks that I know what I like about this show. Number five is Mal. I have to say, he's one of the best villains ever. I don't think that is one. Wait, it is a big turn over the past and uh, attack this, and not not having to rehash the previous attack this. It's really good. However, though, there does seem to be criticism and uh, some for the character's lack of personal uh, and its anticlimactic end. However, it however it totally worked, and I completely understand why. Uh, okay. Number four is CL going crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it made me laugh the whole. The reason that CL misses Cody and she starts to lose her mind when you forget that Cameron's Cody, I forget everyone else is Cody, <laughs> it's, it's got me laughing all the way to episode 7. I mean, she's really hilarious yes, during that time. Yeah. So, and, so anyway, let's go on to number 3. No, number 3 is kind of a, a great duty tone, and it's Cody and Scott together. You know, and they're on and off, on and off again relationship. On and off and on again with relationship. It's really a good thing. It's just a little past, but I think this was almost a double free spot. Number two, I know this is one of my favorites. Gwen finally breaking up with Duncan. And thank God, I am so glad that they finally. No, I'm really glad that Gwen went taking this risk. That made her a much better, much better character on this season. And I'm so glad that Duncan finally got me the zone. At this. I like Gwen and Twet. I like Gwen having up a Twet a lot. A lot. I mean, I'm just hoping that it'll be getting back together soon in future seasons. I hope so.
of self because ducking is not her choice. Yeah. And now the number one thing. The number one thing that I like about Total Draw All Stars is Sam. I mean, I had to give <laughs> give him, him credit, and as at least he did. He had a hard time. He really had a really hard time doing the first four episodes. He got injured so much. He even got injured off Brody Iron. He deserves respect after this season. This is because he deserves more. He is a great asset. That's it for Tornado Drama. He even did, he did well in the E competition and he made the longest for ever. That's we really call. Cool. Much more longer than Izzy, of course. Yeah. And I do have to give a spin. Also, game on, as you can show. So, anyway, that's all I gotta say. Let's say. I'm gonna say. The top five things I like about Cold War also is. Things I don't like. This way, won't get any sense now. So, I have books. So, I hope you like. I like this review as much as I do. So, for the season on Cold War also is, I don't think it's really. So, the, for the season on Cold War also is, I don't think it's really the worst season out of all this. I mean. I mean, the Redogulous Race is the worst season ever. I'm just going to say that the Redogulous Race is the worst season, much more worse than the Total Power All Stars. So, I'm going to give mm, TDAS a 6.4% on the scale. It's why right, that's the Total Power Action. So, anyway. so, I hope you guys just like this. This is Aaron Tartar, and I'll be seeing you next time.